It's been an incredible run by Kyle Busch. Oh, the ATT out. even got into the back of the 78. Martin Truex Jr. slamming into the wall. He hits again. Contact made. Kyle Busch got to the back of the 78. The 78 spins and brings out the caution once again. Also involved the 7 of J.J. Yaley. Tire completely coming off the wall, and you just hear Martin Truex Jr. say, that hurt. So the crew getting to Mark Trex Jr. He'll take his belts off. That hurt. And also, hurt his feelings. Yeah. You know, sitting there running second with a shot to win this race. Obviously frustrated. so much into racing means so much to you and something like that happens and just runs all through you man makes you so mad so much commitment had been made by poor Kyle Bush tricks taking it had to come down the track a little bit but really didn't turn into the 18 car JJ Yaley just trying to get by nothing he could do come right across the racetrack huge impact yeah that angle into the inside wall is is an odd one and a tough one just barely touches him there yeah martin's not going to be happy with that i don't think kyle did that on purpose by any means but certainly coming off turn four and thinking the 78 was going to leave a little higher up the racetrack just hard wrecks you know the, even at short tracks going 100 115 miles an hour those are hard hard shots you know those two they normally work really well together and you get this late in the year and these kind of incidences, you know, getting ready to make the playoffs and it can wear on a relationship. I mean, those, they, those two teams, they work well together. They work well, Joe Gibbs and Ernest Giroux, but you know, those things happen. It hurts, hurts those relationships. That's Martin showing his frustration. Marty. What did you feel there before that wreck? Oh, I just got hit in the left rear. Pretty simple. I mean, uh, it's a shame we had a good night going. Started off rough, battled hard, and uh, got the car pretty good there. So, you know, I, uh, I don't know, just got hit in the left rear. We saw the frustration out of you after that. Is that is this intensity just short track racing, or is it as the playoffs are approaching? Uh, it's just Bristol. You know, it's uh, trying to get that first short track win. You know, this place has been so hard on us. I mean, I can't even explain to you how good we've run here in the past three, four years, and crap like this every single time it's like it's one thing after another so sucks that it happened but uh you know at the end of the day it's racing to bristol i feel like i probably should have took the lead there i probably should have bumped 14 out of the way just to get the lead and i wouldn't have been in that position so uh sometimes you're the nice guy and uh you get knocked out of the way so we'll just have to race him a little harder next time thanks martin yep. yeah, i like that attitude I, it's it's bristol last year that's why we love bristol is because of drama like this might not like what happened. You may want to blame Kyle Busch for that. Hate to see Martin get taken out of the race, but short track racing creates all this drama. Yeah, it doesn't make it doesn't make it where you're okay with it. You no. know, you're still obviously clearly not happy about it, but.